Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, this is Sapiens. This is the first try. This is my first try that I ever created. And if you haven't watched the last episode, wow, we were on the complete brink of collapse until Insa and who else turned up? Tina and McCollin. These are our three new people. Their loyalty is not necessarily 100% where it should be. But happiness is generally okay. But everyone is working super, super hard. What I need to do is focus a little bit on what we are going to do next. And right now, good old Insa is uh, investigating the bone. And what she'll discover from the bone is the ability to make a flute. And we'll also be able to make, I think, some weapons with it and other such good things. So, who's assigned to this? I'm not sure who that is. Is it Nema? It is Nema. So what's she doing? She's on her way over to start making some flax twine. That's really important for us. So this is flax. Flax creates sort of a string. And the string can then be used to tie axe heads to bits of wood thus making what we know today as being an axe that is going to allow us to chop down trees so much faster what would have taken more than a day two days perhaps to chop down a tree with a hand axe is now going to take hardly any time at all and i could build my path again i can rebuild my path this is excellent so we come in here, go to paths. I really shouldn't have built a rock path. I think primarily that was my 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 main undoing by building it with the most infuriating and most difficult to obtain elements, but you know, we'll get there. shall make it work and it'll just allow people to walk from the bottom end to the top end with hardly any effort or much less effort so they'll be able to go to and fro without getting tired but in future i think what i'll do is i'll dig some um dig some earth out and make earth roads instead so I need some split logs. How can I make split logs? Well, first of all, we need... So there's three split logs there. So we do have some split logs. Um, what do we have here? What's this? Oh my god, spearheads. Well, I can stop making spearheads then. I've got 10 million of those. Pickaxe heads. Goes in this one. I'm not putting branches in there anymore. We have axe heads. So spears, we've got a million of. So this one then should be. I'm going to say knives. Right, okay. So, off she goes. She's starting the process. In fact, I think we have some twine over here, don't we? Yes, we do. So let's investigate the twine. Arguably, that's more important than the musical instrument. So I think what I'll do is I'll have her come over here. And investigate this instead. So 
she's doing quite well. She's she's uh, making quite a lot of twine. It's a bit of flax there. It'd be very helpful if I could grow some flax closer to us. There is some down there. There was some over here, so we've collected all of that. That's kind of good. Let's just see if there's any flax closer to it. Oh, there's pumpkins. Let's get some pumpkins in. That would be nice. Especially if I can plant some. So it's still warm, still nice and warm, whilst... Oh, yeah, so look, the house is finished. Here, the house has been completed. That's excellent. We'll have a campfire in the corner. Don't think you can set fire to things at the moment. Don't need to worry about that too much. Somewhere for everybody to sit. Actually, that looks it's a bit too close. That one. Let's try that again. So, at some point, I've got to figure out how to fill a hole. I'm going to try and do that with some soil there. We'll not worry too much if it all goes wrong. Because it's very early days. What we should be doing is getting some chicken on the go. Speed things up, see if anyone's actually going to... Uh, jump on a job. I don't think anyone is. I think everyone's going to be awkward today. So we'll have a big feast tomorrow. We should have, I should have planned a big feast to make everyone happy and, you know, just make sure everyone is fed. Because obviously I've been feeding just three people for the last couple of weeks. Uh, so this is very much a change now. Somebody's unhappy. Is it Jolo again? Meso, I mean. Yeah, he's super, super tired. It's dark. He's overworked. He'll be alright in the morning. He'll be fine in the morning. So there you go. That's our first day with the new tribe. And I think, although I'm working everybody super, super hard, which is what I did wrong in the first place, it's that bloody path. <laughs> I swear to God. Once the path is done, that's going to reduce the amount of workload for everybody. Just finding enough rocks to make the path is in itself a nightmare on Earth. There was a bit of a hole down there, look. and fill that with a bit of soil. I don't know if that's going to work. It's a bit of an experiment. I haven't successfully filled any holes with soil yet. Bit of a learning curve. Right, so we've got two things being investigated. That is so important. So important that this happens. Oh, Nima is pregnant. Check it out. So 
So she can't do investigation because she's pregnant. That's okay. We'll stick her on music instead. That is more than okay. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. So population of six. We're going to be a population of seven very soon. Um, oh, we need some knives. We're out of knives, guys. Lots of knives. So stop crafting that. Start crafting some knives. You don't need a lot of knives. So let's let's go for twenty-five. Problem is, we need that small rock. Small rocks are so hard to come by. I have honestly absolutely stressed out of my mind looking for small rocks. Small rocks, big rocks. <sighs> They're like the bane of my existence in this game. They really are. See, look, you, you think, oh, look at all these lovely rocks. Yeah, but they're not small rocks. They're just normal rocks. Just plain rocks. But there's a small rock there. And it's like the only one. I know there's a few. Yeah. Any small rocks. Select. Store. There we go. It's going to take ages to get those small rocks in. But we they're absolutely vital to everything we do. I'm hoping once we've got sort of a, a pickaxe or something we can start smashing the big rocks and making small rocks out of the big rocks because big rocks are so easy to find in comparison so Nima has learnt the fire lighting skill Tenor has learnt the wood building skill this is good this is good stuff guys good stuff we got we got handful of small rocks available so who's cooking you on the chicken excellent we're gonna have a feast tonight we're gonna have a fantastic feast tonight unless they all go sit up that end in which case they won't get any feast but whatever so this shouldn't be for spearheads anymore i'll say accept none and remove McCollin has learnt the rock napping skill. Oh, this must be McCollin then. Excellent. This is very, very useful stuff. Just need more small rocks. Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> Minor glitch, just ignore that, people. Still in early access, of course. So she's got a knife now. She can start preparing the chickens. Look at this. The teamwork. Look at the teamwork we've got now. So she's learning how to cook. She didn't know how to cook before, but she's learning now. The fire's nearly out. The fire's nearly out. Need to, yep, she's on fire lighting, so that's okay. Three people are on fire lighting. Meso. Right, so we can take Meso off of fire lighting. And he's going to be doing tool assembly once it's ready. Probably do a bit of woodworking as well. A bit of investigation? Yeah, why, why not? Why waste his skills? Yeah, look, they're all over there trying to get some rocks. That's huge for us. That is so huge. We need some stone hand axes. Interesting. Do we not have any? Yeah, that's, that's a pickaxe. That's kind of the hand axe. That's exactly what it is. That's a decent number of knives. I think we'll stop making knives. 
Let's go back to making hand axe. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's do that then. Who's working on this right now? Okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Here he comes. Hola. Discovering this new technology of binding an axe head to a bit to a stick. Which is brilliant. Ah, oh, so so. The last episode was stress from start to finish. It was just never ending stressful situation. It was horrible, really horrible, um, most of the time. Oh, hello. He's trying to fill in the dirt. Now, how is that going to work exactly? Is it going to work? So he gets a bit of dirt, gets a stone, dirt in the middle, and whacks it with the stone, thus breaking up the dirt. And there you go. Perfect. Right. So now we shouldn't have any light coming in the bottom of the house there. Brilliant. It's got to do the same on this side, and that's all perfectly fine and back together. And he may even fix the um, little food hut that we've got over here. Perfect. Ah, oh, I'm so glad I figured that out. That was doing my absolute nutting. Some of these are going off. Hopefully, we'll plant the rotten ones first. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right, so the investigation is going well. Blake... 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 Blake, 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 Blake. The Blake... Oh, I, can't, I still can't say it. Blake through. The breakthrough has been completed. We have spears. So now we can hunt alpacas. In fact, that's a hugely important thing because without being able to hunt the alpacas, we won't be able to give everybody jumpers for the winter. And we know how bad that is from previous episodes. So, a sharpened rock can be used with more force when attached to a wooden handle. Your tribe can now craft better tools and more formidable weapons. Stone hatchet. A balafon. I don't know what that is exactly. There might be a musical instrument. It might be a wheelbarrow. I'm not really sure what a balafon is, if I'm being honest. Stone spear, stone pickaxe, flint spear, a bone spear, a flint pickaxe, and a flint hatchet. Hugely important. So, we have got 10 million spearheads. All I need to do now... Stop crafting that. Start making some spears. So I'm going to put 10 of those in and let's go and find Meso. So Meso can come off investigation and woodworking and he can go on to tool assembly. That's exciting that is. Right, so... There's some chicken here. Look, there's chicken for everybody. We just need to come and get it. Come and get it, guys. Dinner's up. Dinner's up, guys. Dinner's up. Another new breakthrough. Bone carving. Your tribe has found that bones can be shaped using a knife to create sharp blades or even make musical sound. Bone knife, bone spear, bone flute. Wonderful. So here, we're going to create a bone flute. And I think... I'm going to do five of those. Just have them floating around. So that everybody can play a bit of music and cheer themselves up. Everyone's sat outside. It's so nice and warm and chilled out. Everyone's happy. Contrast that to uh, the last episode, where everyone was... <laughs> Like, literally leaving. I mean, one woman, one woman even died to get out of the tribe. <laughs> That's how much she wanted to leave. 
She was so, so unhappy. In her defence, she was freezing cold and we had no jumpers. I think <laughs> when she died, that meant that one of our other characters could put a jumper on. And that in itself saved the tribe. <laughs> so uh, she paid the ultimate sacrifice, I think you could say. Look at that. Everyone's sleeping. They're undercover. This is so good. Such a contrast from, uh, from the last episode. I'm still pushing everybody very, very, very hard. But whilst it's warm, I think that's the right thing to do. And now it's very cold. Right. This is absolutely essential now, then. It's almost daytime. Almost daytime. Almost daytime. Come on. Now, this is going to be tricky, because it's going to take a couple of days to learn how to hunt. And until we learn how to hunt, we're going to have no jumpers. Need one branch. Are you kidding me? We have no branches. We've put all the branches on the flipping... On the fire. Right, let's just do a small section here. You can see, not happy. Freezing cold. So we, at the moment we're only short by one jumper, but that that's a big problem. So we have to get this sorted quickly. And the little forest that we've planted is really coming up trumps now. Look at this. This is how easy it's going to be now to just get stuff. Look at that. This is such a transformation. I'm so happy now. We have a spear. We have two spears now. Oh, this is fantastic. This is not going to take long. I think we need three spears minimum. And then we can go and start hunting alpacas and getting jumpers and stuff. Just need one more spear. And then we can go. Insa has learnt the fire lighting skill. Brilliant. That's going to make life a lot easier. Okay, we now have three spears. So let's cancel that for the, for the time being. Let's... Um, this is the perfect, perfect place. So, I need to make some changes here. So we need to go to the Sapiens. And... Um, Meso, I need to be able to sort of move him without. Let's all meet up here. Okay. Oh, there's a couple in the middle as well. Right. 
Let's stand here. So the three guys, the three guys are going to come here. So we're going to take this off, take this off, take this off. So we need to do investigation. Uh, hunting? It's, okay, so hunting is not yet a thing. Right, so he may need to do this on his own then. Thought about that. Yeah, okay, so he's going to get a spear and he's going to learn how to hunt on his own. And then he can teach other people how to hunt. Okay, that's fine. Let's watch him learn how to hunt. Okay, good good start. So he's learned that quite quickly, I have to say. Okay, the problem is he's not picking up the damn spears. But he doesn't... Hang on a minute. What's she doing out there? Oh, because she's also learning. Oh, so the two of them are learning. That's interesting. Okay. So they're learning together. That's probably why. I won't... Cause it... Yay! New breakthrough. Spear hunting. After experimenting with various projectiles, your tribe has found that by combining the sharpness of a naped blade with the flight stability of a straight stick, they can now hunt much more successfully and target larger prey. Right, so I, I want you to hunt that now. Ah, hang on. So I have to give him the hunting. Yes, okay. Does she have hunting? She doesn't, but she has put tree generally. So let's turn that off for a second and just put it on hunting. So, guys. Okay, so he's hunting that alpaca. Can I get her to hunt another one? And what I don't want is for them to go and throw all of our spears away so that we've got no spears left. Oh, good. They do go pick them up eventually. So let's watch this then. This is our first out. Hey, wow. So he needs to be assigned the general labour role. Okay, so we So he needs to be on general labour to go and pick up. So he's going to create the tools. Yeah, I think that's a good balance for Meso. I don't know where it's bloody going, though. Brilliant. So he's going to go sort out that alpaca. She is just... I'm not sure what she's doing exactly. She was learning some skill. Oh, okay, so she hasn't learned. She hasn't mastered hunting, so she's going to master hunting right now. This alpaca is completely oblivious to what's going on around him. So what's that white thing sticking out of the ground? Oh, you missed again. She's not naturally talented. I guess. Oh, the, the flipping... The spear broke. Disaster. Right, so we're definitely going to need more spears. Very cold. 
So, normally we have some alpaca. Yeah, get on that carcass. Good man. Excellent. Right. St I'm starting to get sort of a better understanding of everything that happens in this game and how everything is interconnected. So, for example, he's, he's now wandering all the way down the path, taking that alpaca with him. Presumably, because he's got to cut it up on here, or because he needs a knife or something like that. It's now very cold. Wait a minute, where are you going? Storing stone spear. No, no, don't worry about that. Just concentrate on... Oh, okay. So they've swapped jobs. So now somebody else is going to come and butcher the alpaca. Actually, that kind of makes sense. He goes, hunts it. She she comes and processes it. But anyway, once it once it's done, not only will we have meat to store, but also we'll have jumpers for everybody. Yeah, look at that. Fantastic. Oh wow. She's super warm now. I mean, she's very tired. She's also carrying a baby. So uh, let's maybe guide her to some warm. And I would like to cook some alpaca meat. Another treat for everybody. This fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So, although it's very cold, everybody is reasonably happy. Oh, you're not happy. Because you're freezing cold, right? So you're storing alpaca meat. Could you not possibly come over here and put a jumper on? Would that make sense? It's right in front of you. Just pick it up before everybody else does. Yay! Good man. That has just saved your life. Made you a lot happier. Yeah, it's just, oh, we're going to have such a feast. Such a feast, I tell you. Right, so I want some storage area. One there, and one there. So that's for chicken meat. This is going to be for alpaca meat. It's for chicken meat, alpaca meat. Yeah, okay, that's kind of fine, actually. So let's have alpaca carcasses and chicken carcasses. I know in in reality, in the real world, in the modern day, you wouldn't mix raw and uncooked meat together, but back in the day, it didn't matter so much. They were more hardy, yes. So yeah, that's I mean, that's already a successful uh, episode right there. We have achieved something very, very important. The hunting. Everyone's going to be so, so happy now, I think. So we'll get some logs cut. <clears throat> we'll take some trees down, plant some new trees, and then we can get this split log wall completed. We'll do that today in today's episode. It's going to be a bit of a task, a bit of a job to get it all done, but we can make it happen. We are in a position now where we can make this happen quite easily. Hello, 
brilliant. So he's had his fill, and there's still plenty left over as well. Right, let's process these. Can I just... Ah, oh, I should have done it this way. Too many selected. Interesting. Give up. Right, what are you discovering? Oh, you're learning how to process chickens. That's good. It's also very good. So we've got tons of food for everybody. I don't know why they keep sitting down outside. I know I get it. He's tired. Perhaps we need some more light. It's not a terrible idea, is it? Let's have a look see here. Doesn't cost too much. There's a slight sidetrack moment. So hay is going to rot in a few days outside. Go out in here. Let's make this hay. Love that. Hopefully they'll store it in there. That'll be uh, that'll be good. It's mostly undercover. I know we haven't got these triangle sections in over there, but I don't think we need it because it's kind of like a barn, if you will. Right, first thing in the morning. Still out there processing chickens. The apples in guys i want a hundred apples in here so that everyone's got apples to eat Yeah, things are going very well. Meso has learnt the butchery skill. He's getting a bit old now, is Meso. Ah, nobody's assigned bone carving. Let's take a look see here. Three people, I think, is more than enough, right? Too many people on butchery. Even though Meso is skilled at it, I'm going to take him off. Uh, what else have we got? So we've got all five of them on general labour. I think we're going to take general labour 
off the most overworked people. Jolo, I think we're going to add you to that job. Take Inser off. So we'll have the men. Oops. Let's try that again. Oh, we got a baby. We got Lila. Li Lila. 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 Brilliant. We've got a young girl. That's fantastic. That is great news. That is excellent news. Okay. So we've got two people on rock napping, one person on rock uh, bone assembly. So we need one person on bone carving. I guess she's ideal, being the youngster. Um, nobody on mining yet. That's something I'd quite like to get. Can we get Leela on? No, she can't do it because she's a child. Maxed out. Yeah, let's get Joe Lode to do it. He's actually very good at it. Nobody's on woodworking. Who can I put on woodworking? I guess Meso. So everybody's just, again, I mean, it's, it's like you never quite get to the point where nobody is overworked. You always need more people. More people. Right. So it's very cold, so nobody really wants to be doing any kind of nasty jobs. But the apples need to come in, so the apple orchard is being processed, I guess you could call it. And here she is, the new youngster. I mean, she's going to be freezing, right? I don't quite know. Yeah, it's just close to hypothermia. I don't quite know how to make her pick up a, a jumper. So it's a wall skin. What's that? Oh, alpaca skin. Good girl. So she's just smart enough to do it herself. Brilliant. I think we do need to hunt a few more alpacas, in which case we need a few more spears. So let's get some spears done. I'm going to need at least 50. Oh, it is a musical instrument. Okay. Let's get on with those spears, though, guys. So what kind of spears... Can I make... Bone spearheads. Let's do that because we've got so many bones. And I don't know what to do with them, so let's let's start crafting those. Okay, he's on music. Okay, so set these guys off diplomacy and stick them on. General labour. So the more hands we have sort of collecting apples and stuff, the quicker it's done and the less everybody freezes to death. It does make sense. So, we need so many things. We need spears, we need axes. So I need somebody over here making axe heads. So it looks like we're out of branches again. Goodness me. We go through branches at some rate, don't we? But we'll get branches from the apple trees. That won't take long. Probably by the end of today, 
will have processed the apple orchard. But uh, just having apples there stored up, that everybody can just come and grab and eat. Look at that. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. Apples galore. Everybody's got something to eat every day. We don't need to worry about it. It's all there. Brilliant. All right, phase one complete. Phase two is to grab all these branches. Wait a minute. And have you sat up there doing nothing? Come on, everyone's working. You've got to work as well. So we're going to have a ton of uh, branches, which will allow us to make some axes. Who should I prioritise? got to be Meso, isn't it? Come on, Meso, come and make us some axes so we can chop down some trees, dude. This is a well-oiled machine right now. <laughs> Leela has learnt the bone carving skill. Good job, little one. So there is a musical instrument there. Hopefully we'll have the uh, master music masterpiece coming soon. Hang on a minute. Wanderers? Oh my, MG. I didn't see that message pop up. How many are there? So there's three people and they're thinking, what the hell is this that these guys have built? Uh, right. Pause, 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 pause. Right, now this is very important roles diplomacy i need everybody on diplomacy right now it's bad right so what we're going to do is we're going to go for hunting and we're going to take everybody off hunting and we're going to put everybody diplomacy right. we're going to say this is priority right now Look at him playing with his flute, saucy little git. I'm too far away. Does she have diplomacy? No. It's going to have to be you then, dude. Right, come on, everybody, quick, 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 quick. Don't let them get away. Get the spears, if necessary. Come on, please, 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 please. Something's not happening. Dare you do what you want instead of what I tell you to do. Come on, guys, this is important. No, look, he's getting away, he's getting away. He's getting away. got we have we got one we got two 
We got all three. Did we get all three? We did. Oh, fantastic. That is insane, isn't it? That is insane. And here he is playing his flute. Playing his flute. Absolutely magnificent. Right. So, with that in mind, I feel like I need to re-evaluate all of this. Oh, hang on. Let me pause whilst I do this. So we're in roles. Um, and yeah, everybody should be doing general labor. Everyone should be picking everything up and moving everything. Everybody should be skilled at that. I think that's important. Basic building. We'll work this out in a second. Um, I'm thinking two people per thing is probably good, right? Diplomacy. Wow, we've got 10 people in our tribe now. I think at least five people. At least five people should be uh, dealing with diplomacy. We'll get this sorted out now. Now we've got 10 people. I don't want to repeat my mistakes, if that makes sense. So at the moment, nobody is building any thatch, per se. So we can kind of leave that for a while. There are other jobs that need... This is a complete re-evaluation of the tribe. So everyone is on general labour. Fire lighting. This is quite important. So I'd like Insa, Nima, Leela to be in charge of that. Butchery. Again, I feel like that's that's women's work. <laughs> if you forgive the phrase. We need, we need more women though. We definitely have too many men. Beer hunting. Now this has got to be... Uh, yes. Now the thing is, Insa's almost very good at it. Let's have Kapisi, Tenna, Mokolen. We'll have all of them. Four people hunting. Investigation. Let's give this to the ladies. whilst the men are out busy at work so let's give that to jolo we only need one thatch builder right now basic hunting jolo again is the only one with any skill rock napping yeah, i feel like that's a two-man job pottery I'll give that to sona woodworking he's not doing much he's not doing anything he can learn how to do woodworking digging is very good at it. We don't need more than one person. Tree felling. Now, nobody is skilled at tree felling. Meso's quite old, so I think we're going to go... I think we'll go Kipson and, hit, and this guy. And Sona. Let's get three guys on that. Music. Now, some, some of these people are musical, right? So he has to be, because he's musical. Creative. Creative. Okay, that's pretty good. Planting. Wood building. Tool assembly. Now, Meso is the only guy who's skilled. Basic cooking. That's women's work. <laughs> I mean that in caveman terms, of course. Diplomacy. Right, so who's left? So, uh, uh, uh. We've got three people on diplomacy. 
Now, Leela is actually maxed out, but she's a kid, so maybe she's got the energy to kill, uh, to kill with that, to deal with that. Um, right, so let's just press on a bit and then come back here. Now, why has Capissi, oh, because he's got no skills. He's skilled at nothing, but everybody's got lots of stuff to do. So the only thing she can't do is investigating because she's a child. So we'll turn that off. And that's good. I've just noticed we don't have anybody on basic building, which is actually quite a big problem. Uh... We'll put all the men on basic building, which means they're absolutely maxed out again, but they're not going to be expected to do all of the jobs all of the time. So, you know, once uh, once we got all the all the branches in, then we won't need to collect branches for a little while. I didn't actually get that many branches. I was expecting many, many more branches than that. But okay, we've got all of these to deal with. That should get us some branches. And then we'll chop down a couple of trees. It was busy. A lot of stuff went on there. Sorry, look. She's learning how to start the fire. And just having uh, light along this path is, I think, going to improve things tremendously. Hopefully stop people from sitting down in the dark because it's too dark and they don't like it. Somebody has to come and light the fire at some point. There we go, look at this. Look at this. That's a massive transformation. We have turned a big corner. No, people are still sat outside. What's your problem? He's well rested. He's just had a nice break from working. Sat in the snow, freezing his ass off. What an idiot. What can you do with these guys, huh? Yeah, and somebody's lit the fire. Look, this is just awesome. Everybody's well sorted. Well sorted. What's this? That's hay. So we've got some food, we've got some hay. And we put in here some alpaca meat. I think that's a good idea. Look at this. This is a fully organised system right now. Everything is in place. That's going to rot in a few years. That's going to rot next year. So it actually makes sense to not chop up the alpaca until you actually need it. Um, I am actually going to have this alpaca processed though because you can do roots like that. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, because I want to make sure that we've got enough jumpers for everybody, basically. I don't want to run into that problem again. I want to have excess number of alpaca kits available. So nearly everybody's asleep there. Now everybody's asleep. Fantastic. What a turnaround that has been. Right, so... We nearly have some axes. We can go chop down a couple of trees. Uh, then we can start processing the wood and we can move on from this tutorial. But we got kind of stuck in because everybody left and uh, a nightmare ensued. There you go. We've got one axe, I think. Two, one axe there. Nearly got two axes. Fantastic. Fantastic.
flashing their wicket now and then. So how are we doing for branches? See, look at that. We're nearly out of branches again. This is why logs are so important, because they last so much longer. Right, so I'd like to gather the pine cones... No pine cones available on that one. So we'll get the pine cones because I think that's how uh, I can grow more of these trees because these trees are brilliant for logs. They're very tall, very straight, perfect kind of log material, if you will. That's so what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to say. All of these types of trees, there's only two. Interesting. Chop them down. Now that we have an axe. Here he comes with his chopper. He's got his chopper out and he's going to take the tree down. Yeah, we've got three people with choppers. Uh, three um, three uh, tree fellas. We don't have any tree lasses, just... Three fellas walk into a bar. Brilliant. So we've only got one axe at the moment, which is why it's only him doing it. She's doing a fantastic job turning those bones into uh, spearheads. If you can make an axe head, let me just check this a second. So a bone spear and a bone knife, but not a bone axe. And, uh, kind of half forgotten about it, but over here, of course, we have water. Now, in, a, in an additional uh, Let's Play in the series, I've, I've started near the water, and I have tried to fish. Um, but as yet, I haven't seemed to figure out how to do it. So, uh, that's another possible potential sighting discovery and movement forwards. Some branches, we've got some logs. He's off there chopping down the next tree. Fantastic. Does it fall over or does it uh, just oh, okay, it just transforms? That makes sense. Yeah, let's chop it down. So the whole point of building all this stuff up here on the hill was to get access to all the trees. Um, but what I'm really going to have to do is plant some of these trees. And I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that, if I'm being honest. Obviously I need some speed. Maybe they're down here. Oh, it's busy now, isn't it? So we've got some birch seeds. I think we have... Pine seeds. Pine cones. There must be pine cones. There's a woolly mammoth there. I wonder if we could attack the woolly mammoth. We've got loads of flutes. Uh, let's see here. Pine cones. So where would pine cones be stored? So we don't need two bone storage, so pine cones. Let's come in here to resources and look for pine cones. 
I kind of need a search bar in here, I think. Pine cones. So we have no pine cones. So that's what we need. We need to get some pine cones. I assume this is what I use to plant new pine trees. Makes sense in my head. Shall we hunt a mammoth? Would you like to see me hunt a mammoth? Let's do it. Do we have enough spears? Oh my god, hang on! More people! I can't believe this. This is such a transformation. We were on the brink of defeat and we've turned it around superbly well. She doesn't have the diplomacy roll. Who has the flipping diplomacy roll then? There's one. So if you have the diplomacy roll, come over here. Lickety split. Go, 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 go. Now, I'm a bit concerned about attacking a mammoth, uh, partly because I don't think we have enough spears. I don't think we have any spears. Let's cancel that uh, for the minute. Come on, we've got people here. Gonna work. Brilliant. Oh my god, how many people just joined our tribe? One, two, three, four, five, six people just joined our tribe. A lot of them are children. Oh my god, they're here. Look, here are the kids. Wow, talk about turnaround. That is amazing as hell. Right, well. We can we can reevaluate all of this stuff now. So what we got sixteen people on on this job now. Okay, so uh, oh my god, pulling stuff in is just going to be so easy. Who do we not need doing this? Seppa, you're a kid, so you can come off that job. Meso's old, he can come off that job. Uh, you're a kid, you're a kid, you're a kid. Okay. Fire lighting. Right, so let's get Insa off this. Let's get Nima off this. Let's get the kids onto it. So the kids are responsible for starting the fires. <laughs> Which probably isn't a good idea, but whatever. Uh, yeah, anyone who's, like, talented can come and do that. Spear hunting... Four guys. Is, is that enough? Probably is. Um, planting. I'm going to say. Let's just drop that down. See, Meso's got too much to do. Actually, Meso might like planting. So we'll keep him on planting for now. Uh, okay, so Sapien. So let's see who's got the most rolls. Sona has got everything. So let's take you off tool assembly. Uh, who else has got lots of rolls? Capiti has got too much. Um, but he's creative, so... Uh, 
uh, take him off tree felling. Actually, we'll take him off spear hunting because I think we got a new bunch of new people. See, like this guy could definitely do a bit of spear hunting. Get diplomacy. Okay, hello. Spear hunting. Definitely. So Tenor could come off spear hunting. He's got too many jobs. Let's just, just have two tree fellas. Well, these are just kids. Nikaka is an adult though, so come on. You can do some tree felling, you can do some hunting, basic building, and yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. So McCollum is currently the guy with the most amount to do. So we'll take him off spear hunting. And then everybody. We're now at a point where nobody is overworked, really, at the moment. Temporarily, sort of. Right, so. Now with these 16-odd people. Let's do the entire forest. Everybody jumps up. We're going to go and get so many branches right now. And then hopefully we'll have a few trees to plant. Wow. Wow. Last episode was a really pinnacle episode, but now, now I've got to make use of all these people. Now I've got to really display and show what the game can do. And bearing in mind, you know, I'm playing the game as I'm learning, so uh, there's a lot here that I don't know myself. Hello, there's a lot of this stuff around here. Let's get that picked as well. Yeah, so once we get all the branches in, we can go and get loads of flax, and then we can make loads more axes and spears and stuff like that. Mammoth meat. Oh, man. We haven't had any mammoth meat since right at the beginning, have we? Uh, who's processing this, please? Need a stone knife. Oh, it has to be a stone knife. Interesting. Let's just craft a million stone knives then. This is nice. We've got like a, a proper community, and everyone's sort of chilled out and happy and. You know, enjoying the fact that they're not being worked too hard, but enjoying the fact that they've all got food. Oh, hang on. How many jumpers do we have? Nobody's really grumpy, so I'm guessing everyone's got a jumper. This is good. Meso. I tell you what. Meso ch turned... He kept this together, and he alone... Has created this community. This is Meso's community. Meso is a legend. He is a tribal elder. He is a legend. We love him. He is incredible. So I need some stone axe heads as well. What does a stone axe head look like? Is it that?
I would love to figure out how to mine. Because if I can start mining, then all my stone problems will be over. Crikey, am I going to have enough beds for all these people? I'm not sure I will. Oh man, check it out. Check it out. That's what we had before. Massive piles of of branches like this. This is wonderful. Wonderful stuff. We do have a slight problem because we've got like multiple uh, multiple fires to deal with now. So, you know, expansion is great, but uh, then you have to deal with it, of course. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we've got 16 people, so we've got enough beds, which is great. I think everybody has food. Let's get some alpaca. Let's get loads of alpaca meat cooked up. That way everybody's got some lovely alpaca meat to celebrate in the party. This is insane. I love this game so much. I think it's so, 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 so good. And I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it. Really, I can't. I'm sure you've learnt so many ways of not doing things by watching my videos. Hopefully you've learnt one or two ways of doing things as well. And altogether, I hope it's just been an enjoyable experience. So he's created four knives. Let's get him off that for a minute. Is that stone knife okay brilliant look at this oh my god it's like a party absolutely awesome absolutely awesome who ordered the alpaca sausage hot dog alpaca ribs anyone any takers for ribs magnificent. absolutely magnificent and they're all admiring our lovely path our lit up path. They can decide which end of the uh, which end of the village they want to stay at as well, which is great. Just awesome. Wow. How can I screw this up? That's the next question. Ha <laughs> ha. Bless their cotton socks. Um, I wanted to get split logs done today, so I think we'll finish off with that. That would be my priority next. How many logs do we have? So I need to make some split logs. Let's try and craft. Doesn't seem to be any way of dictating how many split logs you can build there but whatever so i'm going to try and prioritize this so we need three split logs by tomorrow we're a little short on wood uh i'll be honest we need to try and plant those pine cones if we can So the pine cones, what's, it, what's this one? It's loads of spearheads. Do some spears as well, don't we? Definitely going to need some spears. Um, small rocks. So where do the fir cones end up then? I'm sure we picked some. Ah, we haven't gathered them. Right. Yeah, okay, well let's see what happens when they get gathered. Oh, 
Copy. So it must be a faster way of splitting logs, I feel. Let's figure it out, yeah, whatever it is. Oh, they are split logs. Okay. So let me put a space over here. So we don't need axe heads anymore. So let's change this to pine cones. And then hopefully in a bit of time, and then when they've had enough opportunity to gather them, then uh, we'll be able to But you can only do one chicken at a time, but I'm sure I've done more than one chicken at a time before. So we need more stone knives. Are we short stone knives? Let's go for a ridiculous number of stone knives. When the weather picks up, we'll have to get some hay sorted as well. Oh yeah, look, the branches are still coming in thick and fast. Wonderful. Wonderful stuff. I do love seeing a massive stack of uh, branches. I think it's one wonderful to look at in real life and in this game. Still short of a few rocks, aren't we? Let's come and grab all these rocks. Why were these rocks not included in that? It's weird. It's within the distance, but sometimes there are rocks that don't get included. I don't know why. It's a little confusing. I'd love to get this path finished. I know I know that the split wood thing is our priority right now. Don't have any stone knives. Uh, here he comes. The legend that is where is he? Just a minute. Yeah. See. Messo! Uh, dude. Oh, it's fetching small rocks. We're back to that I don't have any small rocks problem. We've got to figure out how to smash big rocks into small rocks. Oh, look at this. Just found a small rock haven. Small rocks? Oh my god. That's the most amount of small rocks I've ever found. What the hell's this? <gasps> What is this? It needs mining. But what is it? We need a pickaxe. Right. Let's get somebody making a pickaxe. What are you making? You're making axes. What are you making? Hand axes. So let's get you to make a pickaxe. Stop five pickaxes. Yes! This is very good. Very good for us. Right, well, there's still 10 million things for everybody to do, but, you know, everything is just getting done now so much So much quicker. We've got apples. We don't have any raspberries. So I'm thinking... I'm going to harvest these raspberries, plant a few more. Look at that. Instantly, somebody's on the job. I love this. This is so much... So much easier than what I have been doing. So 
Sensational. It's all come together. It's all come together at last. You see, <laughs> if, you, if you remember back to the last episode, the number of bushes we had here was way more than we needed. But now look how many people are here. I'm already thinking, Christ, uh, I don't think we have enough food for everybody. Okay. And it's true, we don't really. So I'm just going to stick another one of these storage areas down here. And this one is going to be for mammoth meat. Of any kind, shape, size, or whatever. Loads of food there for everybody. It's fantastic. Where did that mammoth go? To be fair, I think we need to sort out some... Uh, pack of meat before we do anything else before we start hunting anything else because we need the jumpers jumpers more than anything else more than meat damn it just broke the knife Together, guys, it's coming together. Oh, it is coming together! Look, literally, I just saw some split wood being placed over here, and this is now ready to be built. It's gonna happen! It's happening now! It's happening right now! Where is he? Not you. What's your main problem? He's fatigued and desperately needs to rest. You just come and sit down and why can't you make people sit on a bench like you can make them do other things I feel like maybe I need to put some benches down Quite a big hill, I suppose, isn't it? Processing some chickens. Fantastic job. We are absolutely blowing this out of the park, guys. Now, I think we've only got one person assigned to wood building. So we're going to have to wait for them to be free from whatever job they're currently doing so that they can come and uh, do the next job, whatever that might be. So another day passes and we still haven't got that split log wall built, but I think we're very close now. So for a minute we had enough wood, but I think, yeah, so I need two more logs. Oh, we need two logs, did that say, as opposed to split logs. Ah, so that's what I did. We need two logs, so I'm going to have to chop down another tree. Now, do we have fir cones? Yes. So now I can plant couple of pine trees. This is brilliant. Now, we don't have six pines. I know this. But at some point we will. And as soon as we do, 
Okay. So once we've collected pine cones from these trees, we'll have enough to plant the pine trees that we want to plant. Wow, everyone's asleep. I mean, this guy's asleep outside. Come on. I'm going to go check on her, because she doesn't seem happy. No available beds. How is that possible? Right, well, let's rectify that immediately with some beds. And we'll have a couple of wolfskin beds just to make doubly sure it doesn't happen again. I don't know that we have that many uh, mammoth skins available, but uh, we are going to hunt a mammoth probably in the next episode. So, oh, hello, mammoth. So, yes, with that in mind, progress is being made. In the meantime, though, I do need some uh, trees. That's my chop it downy type chap. Look at this. Already being planted for next year. We're going to need a forest about the same size as this one, I think, in order to make it work. And every time we chop down a tree, we have to plant a tree. You know, kind of like what we have to do in the real world, I guess. Which just, again, isn't this game amazing? That you have to actually think about things and do things in a way that you would in the real world world. It's just incredible. Such a good game. Right, now we we have logs. We have logs. We have logs. Look. Logs. We have them. They must be being taken for something else. I bet you they've built the benches in here first. Yeah, I think they'd already done that, actually. Come on. Prioritise this. It doesn't have to be a certain type of log, does it? Hey, Sephora has learnt the firelighting skill. Good girl. Well done, you. Good boy, can't tell. Um, come on, god damn it! Why are there no logs? Why are there no logs? Oh, we're all out of chickens. Some flax twine on the go. Still need two logs. Why are we not collecting the logs? So we're planting the uh, trees, which is wonderful, of course. Kalo is a fast learner. Ah. Oh. You're an, you're an investigation. Good. Where did he go? <laughs> he's not just a fast learner, he's a fast mover. Where did he disappear to? Good lord, I have no idea where he disappeared to. He vanished within a blink of the eye. There he is. Okay, come over here and get these logs, mate. Thank you. 
Insa. Come and get these locks, young lady. And maybe they can sort of hit it off and, uh, you know, get a friendship going. That would be good, huh? And where was that thing over here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to get Kalo to come and check this out. See how quick he is at learning. Ah, oh, there's no storage nearby. This does catch me out sometimes. There we go, problem solved. Splendid. Splendid, splendid, splendid. So, I could sacrifice a bunch of trees here. That would bring the logs closer to us. It shouldn't take too long with his axe. That'll be down before the end of the day. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. We're on it. Strange who's been selected to build it, though. He's only a kid. Oh, this is awesome. Watching the way the symmetry between how everyone works is incredible. Oh wow, how do they chop the middle trees down so fast? Somebody has got to come and build this wall. It's been in development for quite a long time. <laughs> Come on, it needs doing. Don't mess me about. Hey! He's building the wall. I mean, we got four more walls to build, but... Uh, and, a, and a roof. But there you go. There's our pr first proper, proper wall. And that is the tutorial finally complete. Wow, that was an effort. Tutorial complete. Well done. Your tribe is only just getting started, but from here you are on your own. Continue to explore, craft and investigate in advance and grow your tribe. Look after your sapiens. Build a bustling town. Lead your tribe to a new and prosperous future. Good luck. How awesome is that? Thank you for watching, guys. I'm glad we got there in the end. It's been a hell of a journey. See you in the next one. Bye for now.